What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel Torque Drift back on the channel here for today on the mobile platform So we got a little bit of money. We got some gold. I think it's time for another car build So I've been meaning to build this car for a very long time and haven't done it yet So we're gonna go do a car build open some crates because I believe I got 20 some plus crates 23 crates I believe 22 sponsors and one a neon crate so we're gonna be doing crates for the car so the car that we are going to buy and build is gonna be that r35 we mean to build this car for a very long time and just never did it it's doing a burnout in the back that's kind of interesting actually so we got 320 grand we're gonna buy it and we're gonna instant buy it so that we can start building it right away and apparently this car is just going to do burnouts in the garage. So we're going to open some crates for it. And apparently I'm already higher than my max torque. So we're going to open some crates up. we got 22 crates to open. See if we can get any parts for this car. And then we'll take it out to the track. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift on the channel, make sure you comment down below. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, I do appreciate all the support. And looks like we got some uh, aftermarket turbo, import diff, which apparently is already installed. I believe this whole car is already imported, so I don't think we're going to be getting much for this car except for this pro field suspension. That's a good pull. And we are getting some money back with uh, getting these import parts. So, got 17 more crates to open, some more cash, some more gold. Got one neon crate to open as well. So hopefully we can pull some interesting parts and actually get some decent parts on this car for the build. Import intake, we're gonna get cash for that because it already has an import intake on it. I believe this car is 100% import from the factory. Import clutch, and there we go. Import clutch gives us some cash. So we're getting some cash, we still got some gold. So we can buy some more parts, which we're probably going to have to use if we can find like a pro angle kit and stuff like that in the shop to throw some angle on this car from the get-go. So I have been wanting to build the R35 for a while, so now we are here to build it. Bunch of parts, but unfortunately we don't need any of those parts, so we're just collecting money, collecting gold. Forged LS1. We don't have a Forged LS1. I don't think I'm going to LS swap the R35. That would be mean. But only eight more to go and one neon crate. We haven't really pulled. We've pulled one pro part. Oh, there's another pro part. What do we pull? Pro turbo. That's a good pull. So definitely some power adders in the parts for sure. And we got some more tires. Some more import parts that we don't need. And some more gold. That's good though. Gold is always good because we can use it to buy parts and get them here faster. Import clutch. Already got that. Already got the cash. So let us open up our neon crate to finish this off for the crates. What we got? Yeah, yeah, red neons. So let's go take a look at what we actually got. It almost says 41 horsepower? Uh, I think the GTR might be broken. Oh, that's because it didn't have an engine in it. Wait, what? Um, I think the GTR might be broken. So we'll throw that on. Apparently, we have an engine in it because, well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like... <laughs> car has an engine. Um, torque crates? Uh, I think there's, I think there's a problem. Well, we're gonna put our pro parts on that we have now. We're gonna fit our pro suspension. We're gonna tune that up. And I think we're gonna lower it down some... Maybe all the way. We're gonna see how badly that scrapes. It's just funny that this car is just doing a burnout in the background while I'm sitting here tuning it. GTR is definitely uh, 
got some issues apparently hopefully we're able to actually you know get some uh, runs with it otherwise this would be very interesting so the only broke part we can get is that so that's unfortunate we have 47 horsepower is the GTR broken I am unsure but we're going to find out we'll go to tunnel edge real quick with it and see if it's actually broken because no it has 700 and some horsepower we're on stock wheels we should have bought some wheels but we're just gonna go send it how it is which is basically pro turbo and we're going against a Supra we gotta throw a body count this GTR if we can I can't remember so let's see what we can do with the GTR on this beginning episode of the build. Throw it in. Ooh. That was a bit of a bit of a wall smack. We probably need to put some different tires on it because it's uh, very slidey. And I probably should upshift in the fourth. But it seems to be okay from the get-go. Other than the fact that I've totally just smacked into the wall, we'll throw it in the fourth and see. Yeah, apparently fourth gear is the way to go. Oh my lord. I don't know how we didn't like totally wreck on this, but we did not. So, 79 on the first run. 286. I think we might be able to win this on the chase if we can have a good chase. But we gotta make sure we get a good chase run. And we're gonna go back to the shop and look at getting some wheels. Maybe a body kit, so this car into fourth. Initiate in. There we go. Trying to stay get as many of those critical chase points as possible. Oh, that dude just hit the wall. Oh, I thought he was gonna try and run it out. There we go. Try and come back in. So fourth gear was the money gear. We should have probably ran our lead in fourth gear. So, out of the box with just that, the car's handling pretty well. Probably gonna throw some import tires on the car, though. Not a bad chase for a first run out on this build. Did we actually take the win? We did take the win. Barely took the win, but we took the win in the GTR. So, we're gonna go back to the lobby. We're gonna go back to the garage. Look at getting some wheels. And maybe a body kit. Because, well, it's no longer doing a burnout. I think we fixed it. So let's go to the garage, body kits. It's an aggressive body kit, but I don't know if I really need it. So we're just gonna get some wheels. Those are the wheels I have on mostly all of my cars. And there they are. I do like those wheels a lot, but I kinda like those. Kind of feeling those wheels. Those are kind of GTR wheels. Very pokey. Going up to 22s. I don't know if I want to go up to 22s. Hmm. Eh, whatever. We'll order them. We'll instant buy them. We'll throw them in there. We'll go adjust some tires. And, uh,. Send it again. We're gonna do here. We're gonna adjust profile. We're gonna go up to a 30 series tire. And we'll go to an 11 in the front. And then in the rear, we're gonna do a 30 series tire with 12. Can we adjust anything on our body kit side? No, but we can pull our bumpers off. We will put our red neons on. So we're gonna take it out how it is, just on the new wheels. We're gonna change the tires up for the next actual run. I don't know if we are gonna go back to, we'll go back to Tunnel's Edge. I do like Tunnel's Edge, it's a very fun track. So we're gonna go back to Tunnel's Edge. We're going to change out tires though. We're gonna throw some Falcons on here. We've got five left, and then we'll probably go back to the next ones that we have a crap ton of. So, Falcon tires on here now. Some big, you know, big baller six spoke wheels. 
very GTR-esque. And now we're going against a Mustang. 738 horsepower is enough, I feel, to get down and get dirty with this GTR. Second run, GTR, tunnel edge. Definitely going to throw this into fourth gear again. Kick it in. Grip level is much better now. Oh, just a graze on the wall. I don't know. I was like, I don't think we're going to be able to make that all the way. With the change of the rim size and the tire profile, it has definitely changed the characteristic of how the car reacts. Oh, get off the wall. Oh, it's like dead stopped me. Well, that's a fail. This just goes to show, don't leave torture for a while because things like this will happen. But we still did get a better lead because, well, he must have wrecked. I don't think those tires are a good choice. They may have too much grip now. I feel like he must have just quit. Yeah, he did. So we go back to the lobby. We're going to switch up tires. We're going to go to, I have 700 of these tires. We might as well burn these tires off. We got 700 of them. Let's send it here. Another run on Tunnel's Edge in the GTR build. Definitely kind of a fun car to have now. Definitely going to be trying to get some more parts and some different engines in there because, well, we should probably put a Skyline engine in this. And we're rolling. I was very concerned at why it didn't have an engine in it at first. I feel like for 320 grand. I should come with an engine. That was a very bad entry. I think the car handled way better on the other wheels. Maybe we just need to drop the profile back down. Ow. If I want to run these wheels, we need to drop the profile back down to 25s. Because it is definitely bogging down and not handling as good, if you've noticed. So it just goes to show you, sometimes the wheels are way too big. And I think that is exactly what I did. The wrong wheels on this car. Oh yeah, I got bested. So we're gonna go put the other wheels back on. Because I got wrecked in this run. So 22s, not a good choice. So, like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing Torch Drift here on the channel, make sure you comment down below and let me know. As always, I do appreciate all the support. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. We're going to go put our stock wheels back on. Unless we put them on and just keep them at a 25 series. We'll, keep, we'll try them at a 25 and a 12. We'll, we'll try that. We'll try that before this episode ends. We'll go back. Oh my. That just looks goofy. Do you feel like it needs a 35 in the rear? Or a 30 in the rear? Does this make any sense? Because the front does not look like it needs a 30. So it just goes to show, I am going to have to be doing some serious work on this car to try and make this how I wanted to run on these wheels. So, I think that is gonna be for another episode. We're probably gonna have to adjust our camber and toe and all that stuff. Maybe get a body kit. So another build coming on for the GTR. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. This thing's gonna get built.